going across to the Nottingham Robin Hood Beer and Cider Festival where we will be delivering our mild, our porter, our proof of concept and the Sabro single hot beer. And these are going to be sitting alongside hundreds of other beers, but namely they're going to be sat alongside Andy's from Four Priest Brewery, who we're going to go and meet on Friday evening, stroke afternoon session, where Tom's going to come across as well, new to homebrew Tom. We're also going to um, meet up with Michael Hall there. So there's me, Gemma going, there's Andy from Four Priest and his wife Sarah, then there is um, Tom and Abby's going to be joining us in the evening for something to eat and then Michael Hall and perhaps his missus, I think she's coming along whether she's coming along to the Friday or not, I don't know but I do know he's stopping Saturday as well so if you do not get down on Friday to meet us you'll get to see Michael on, uh, on Saturday and then I'm back here on Saturday to do a brewery tour for a friend of mine so it's going to be a busy weekend but what we're going to have to do now is get these onto the back of the truck get them strapped in and make the delivery so they've got enough time on the stillage to settle before they open them for the start of the festival, which is going to be Wednesday. Right, it's a two-man job this really, but I'll survive. Still got some stickers to put on these casters as well, Joe. So something that you might not know about sending cask ales out. Uh, most of the time you'll have a best before date on the labels. And you might think I'm out of breath now lifting them casks up. You might think that, oh wow, these have got a short best before date on them. Generally what tends to happen is the brewery puts a shorter date on casts that go out than what he would have in the brewery because we don't want publicans hanging on to our packaging for so long so we just put about 28 days on it and that forces the publican to use it up a little bit quicker than he normally would then we get our packaging back and we can refill it with some more beer Oh, get me some oxygen <laughs> Bit of CO2 yeah, I mean, it's not an issue with beer festivals because we know that they're going to be finished come Saturday, Sunday, these beers. In fact, collection is on Sunday, Monday for your empties. But if it's going out into the wider world, you wouldn't normally put a six month best before date on something, even though if you've done in-house testing, you'd, quite, you'd be quite happy to put a six months best before on it. When you print your labels, you just put probably 28 days so you get these back as fast as possible. Well, we're just looking for somebody from camera to take our order off of us. But there's quite a few beers here, as you can see already. Took us a while to get into the right gate. So we've got the beers delivered to the Nottingham Robin Hood Beer and Cider Festival. And then we've come back to the brewery to do some obvious brewing tasks. And uh, Gemma's in the process of dry hopping the pock. And I think now is the time for us to start dry hopping the other beers that we made for Christmas. So, here's the proof of concept. Fantastic looking beer out of the tank. I'm just going to give this a little taste before the dry hops go in. Mmm. That's that. lovely. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice base beer, that, before the dry hops go in there. It's a little bit warm, but it is going through a diacetyl rest at the moment. So Gemma's just weighed the hops out for our uh, double IPA, which um, which tank was that one in? Let me just have a quick look on my tilts because uh, I've got them confused. So if we have a look up here, we can see the double IPA was the first beer made. So that's in the tank on the far right. So that's this one. That's the double IPA into which, I'll zoom out a little bit, we're going to be putting the dry hops today. 
The first edition is for 12 days. Then this is the IPA. Now this one's not going to be getting any dry hops until five days before we start to can. But that looks very good. And then this is the barley wine, which doesn't have any dry hop in there at the moment, or at all, should I say. And this is, we're hoping to hit the 12% plus mark. But I'm using a Kvike yeast for it. I'm not sure if it's going to get there. I haven't taken a reading, but the tilt up there is saying we're stuck on 1054. And I expect it to be a little bit lower than that. So we'll see where we go with that. The other beers are 1019 and 1022 respectively. So they're probably done. So before these have had any dry hops, let's get into this Christmas double, uh, this Christmas American IPA and uh, see what it's tasting like now. Oh my God, that's wonderful. The balance on that is about right as well. It's not too strong at all. What's up? It's all right. So, do you want to try this? Yeah. That's the IPA. I think it's uh, it's very IPA. Oh yeah. It's got some kick, hasn't it? That one. That's quite. <laughs> it's too bitter for you, yeah. isn't it? Do you, do you want to come and try the double IPA? So the double IPA is. Um, well, we're moving on up a little bit with the ABV on this one. We're not sure what it's going to finish out at yet. Um, but the hop additions are considerably higher in this one. So let's have a go. Looks a little bit paler as well. Oh, that is nice. That's the double IPA. I'm blown away by how good these are. And these, we've completely stripped back our water profiles and readjusted them for this. That's got a nice sweet um, backbone to it, hasn't it? It's gonna balance those hops. And then this is the big boy. I expect this to be a little bit sweet, but that's not too bad, I suppose, for a barley wine. It's really warm at 25 degrees C, because we are trying to let our Kvike yeast do its job. And by the look of the fact that it's got no foam on top whatsoever, it's telling me that this has got high alcohol content. So let's dive in, cheers. Wow, it's like a Christmas pudding that. There's a fair amount of sugar left in there. So it needs to be sat. Certainly not ready for canning yet at the minute. It's quite sweet still, isn't it? Very sweet. So that one, that might, uh, that might take some time to get where we need it to be. But other than that, two of these three beers are ready to move on to the next stage. So, because we want to can these two at the same time, perhaps, we'll start our dry hop today, and then canning will be 12 days from today, and then we'll drop the other hop additions to coincide with that. Well, I think I'm going to keep this one short and sweet, as, uh, well, we're about done in the brewery today, and... If I ramble on too long, I suppose the message of we are going to be in Nottingham on Friday for the beer festival will get lost. So we'll cut this one here and uh, hopefully you'll get to come across to Nottingham and meet myself, Andy, Tom, Jem, Abby, Sarah and who else is going to be there, Michael of course. Uh, so if you do see us, just come over and say hello and uh, buy us a drink. No, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. <laughs> so uh, she's already. I can tell what's going to happen here. She's not going to let me have a drink at, at this beer festival. I know it. Anyway, uh, hopefully we'll see you guys there. And uh, keep liking the videos. Keep subscribing. There's plenty more coming along the pipeline soon. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.